This video will show you how to use Tinker's drone tool for your mods in Minecraft. The drone is an invisible tool mainly used for building 3D structures. The drone tool can be used to erect skyscrapers, write text, build pyramids, construct domes, lay roads, make houses, and pretty much anything you can think of. Typically, they're used to build structures too tedious to build block by block. Let's get into how to use the tool. The drone exists in Minecraft's physical space and will always have two properties, its location and its direction. When it's spawned, the drone will appear at the location of the targeted block up to 10 spaces away and face the same direction your player is facing. From that location, anything you build will extend forward, upward, and to the right. Here's a quick example. I'm going to build a 3x3x3 stone box from this position. Always be aware of where your target is pointed, because as you can see, it dictates where your structure will be built. Now let's look at the code blocks available in the mod designer. The drone tool has its own category of code blocks. Under position, here are all the code blocks used to change the drone's location and the direction it's facing. It can move up, down, left, right, forward, and backward. Please note when the drone moves four blocks to the left, for example, its direction does not change. The direction only changes with the turn drone blocks. Here under checkpoints, you can save your drone's location and direction at any point in your code. All you have to do is give the checkpoint a name in the set drone checkpoint block, and you can have your drone return to that location with the go to drone checkpoint block. Under shapes, these are the code blocks used to build your structures. You can use these to build structures of any size and material by changing various parameters. In this tutorial, we're going to use the drone tool to build a simple house. First, let's use a call command event block and have the house spawn with the command slash ty and house. I'm going to set a checkpoint right at the beginning and call it start. We'll use this later. Before building, we first want to clear the area by filling the area with air blocks. This can be done with the build box code block. The house is going to be 10 blocks wide, 6 blocks high, and 10 blocks deep. We'll specify the material as air, and make sure the box is filled so we don't have extra blocks inside our house. Next, let's build our walls. For this, we'll also use the build box code block. The width, height, and depth will be the same, but the box will be hollow and made of a material of your choice. I'm going to choose the oak wood log material. Let's see what this looks like so far. Once I type the command slash ty house, the area is cleared and my walls are built with a dimension specified. At this point, the drone is still located where my target was pointed. It's always good to be aware of where your drone is located. Next, we want to build our roof. I'm going to try to make my roof look like this. Back in our code, we can create that rooftop by building two prisms that cross and overlap one another. First, we have to move our drone up six spaces to the top of our walls. Then, we'll use the build prism code block to build our rooftop, specify the material as brick, and enter the width and depth. If we check what this code looks like, there's no cross section at the top. To achieve that, we'll have to move the drone to a different corner of our structure, turn the drone, and build another prism. So let's use the move drone code block to move the drone 9 spaces to the right to reach the other corner, and turn the drone to the left with a turn drone left code block. Then. Let's copy and paste the same build prism code block from before. Let's see what this looks like now. We have our walls, the empty space inside, and our rooftop. Lastly, we want to add a door. I want the door to look like this, a double door front and center. Instead of retracing our steps and counting blocks to move the drone back to the front, we can use our checkpoint here. 
If you remember, we set a checkpoint named Start right at the beginning where our target is pointed. It's much easier for me to move the drone to the desired location from this starting point. So now, I just need to move the drone 4 spaces to the right and use the build box code block to make space for the doors. All we need to do now is place the doors. Toward the bottom of the drone category of blocks, there's a section for placing prefabs. Prefabs are prefabricated objects that are unconventional in size or have unique properties that prevent them from being placed with the other build code blocks. These prefabs include beds, ladders, stairs, and doors. Now, let's place our door, specify that we want double doors, and select the kind of door we want. I'm going to choose the birch door. Now let's see the finished product in Minecraft. Isn't that awesome? The drone tool can be used to build all kinds of things. It can even build trees and signposts with custom messages. You can easily change the material, shapes, and size of your house by modifying the parameters of the code blocks you built it with. For example, here's what the house will look like if it was made of diamonds. And that's how you use Tinker's drone tool for your mods in Minecraft.